We're in Springfield, Oregon, pouring curb and gutter for a housing development, working with the Workin SP15i. I think there's about 26 homes that are gonna go in this, in this development here, this phase, and we're pouring about 2,400 linear feet of curb and gutter today. Today, we're actually running autopilot for the whole project. It takes us about two or three hours to shoot the 2,200 feet, and then we upload all the information into the tablet on the machine, and then away it goes. It basically knows what it's supposed to do from there. For this job, for instance, if we were to set string line, it would take two guys about eight hours to set string line here and get it all ready to go. Um, when we came out here to shoot this job, it took us three hours, maybe four, just because I was training another person. But I could probably shoot this job in two and a half hours myself from start to finish, set up to break down. So it's a lot faster, at least 50% faster most of the time. I've been using the SP-15 for two years now. They put me up there and I noticed there was really simple buttons up there. Anybody could learn it, they could just turn it on and just start operating it fairly easy. I hate to say it, but anybody can run the machine with what Workin's done, with how easy it is to function and maneuver around. So um, it makes my job easy, training somebody. Just being able to see everything and not have to worry about running something over with the tracks. It's, it's a lot easier to see where the tracks are at on the machine. Um, more room to move around on top of it, they like that. So, and there's a cup holder. <laughs> it's a very well balanced machine, so it's very easy to move from job to job. Setup's fast. Everything's easy to swap over to, like the mold changes. Now when we get into our shop and we have to change the mold, it takes us 10 minutes. And it's just, pick the mold up, you slide it on, you flip a switch, and the mold locks itself to the machine, basically. So even if you have to change molds on the job site, it saves a lot of time. The fuel consumption is a game changer for us. We can run two jobs, like a huge job, and we don't have to fuel up until like after three days. But there's an eco button on top. We can just use that, and when you turn on the trimmer or the conveyor belt, it'll elevate by itself. It's consistent, and it doesn't really drink a lot of the fuel. The death fluid, we used to fill it up all the time. But with this one, I don't fill up the death fluid until four days if we're constantly using it. When we did first get the machine, we were on string line. There was a representative from work in that came and um, hung out with us for two or three days and showed us the ropes basically on how to run the machine, how to wash the machine, the different features that it had on it which was pretty quick and easy. The transition to work in was actually a lot smoother than I was expecting. I was kind of a little hesitant about it because all of a sudden we have a brand new machine and they're like, here, figure it out. And luckily we had somebody from work in here that could help us out with it. When we got the autopilot system, maybe a year later, we had training for that too. So the representatives from work in came down and they worked with us on job, taught us how to shoot it, taught us how to adjust the machine if we have to for steering and elevation and then to troubleshoot any issues that we had while shooting. So it was very, very helpful. 